This is the lock picking lawyer. The lock I have for you today is a Ruko Scandinavian oval format lock cylinder. I'm not sure the model, but this is another one of the locks that Papa Gleb sent to me. So Gleb, thank you again for that great package of locks. We're going to try to pick this guy open and then I'll gut it and show you what's inside. We have a couple challenges with this lock. The first is a very tight keyway that's difficult to get a pick into. The second is absolutely brutal bidding. <laughs> and then the third is the precision of this lock. It's filled with, it's a five pin lock, it's filled with five shallow spools and the precision is such that it's hard to set some of them without dropping others. So let's try to get this guy open and then we'll take a look at what's inside. Using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar and this Sparrows 15 thousandths hook it's not the most comfortable pick in the world, being that there's no handle and it's 15 thousandths, but it's a little deeper than the seven hook I normally use, and that makes it perfect for locks with tight keyways and difficult bidding. Okay, nothing from one. Click at a two. Another click at a two. Click at a three. Another click there. Counter rotation on four. Click there. And I definitely dropped something. Let's see what I dropped. Hmm. Okay, I guess that was number two I dropped. Let's see, there's three. See four. Four seems set still. Let's go down to five. Counter rotation. Got a little click out of him. Let's see. I heard something drop. One's okay. Two's okay. Oh, I dropped back into my false set when I hit two. Nothing from four. I guess I didn't get five set. Okay, I got something a little better there. Let's see what we got now. Okay, two dropped. Got him set again. Three dropped. Got him set again. And four dropped. I think I have him set, but I heard something else drop when I hit four. And that was three. And we got her open. Okay. So you see what I was talking about when I said the precision creates issues because setting some pins drops others. <clears throat> okay, let's take them apart and then I will show you what's inside. Come on. Okay. I already have the clip mostly removed from the back here. And okay, let's take a look at that cylinder before we go any further. And look at look at number one and two, how deep number one is. Pretty much if you touch that at all it's game over. And then number two's as deep as they come. Very, very nasty bidding. Okay, let's dump these key pins out. Standard, 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 and standard. Five pins. Looks like the three middles are brass and number one and five are silver in color. Let's see if they're anti-drill pins. Yep, they're made out of steel, so they're probably anti-drill pins. Okay, let's get the driver pins out. We've got the Asa shallow spool in number one. Same in number two, and a much larger one, so it looks like we have balanced pin stacks here. Same in three. Same in four. and same in five. Interestingly enough, normally when you see these driver pins, it's accompanied with a counter milled core, and that's not the case here. 
There, there is no counter milling in this core. It would have been a lot harder if there was. Okay, let me give you a close up of these pins. All of our key pins are standards with the key pins in slots one and five being anti-drill pins. We have all shallow ASA spools in chambers one through five, the new version of it. Here's another look at that binning. Again, really, really nasty. And then moving over to our core, we can see there is no counter milling of any kind. So that's all I have for you on this Ruko Scandinavian oval format lock cylinder. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Gleb, thanks again for the locks. Bye-bye.